Okay, so let's launch your um, panel on the right hand side. Um, we're going to be working with your layers panel at the start just to uh, set up our standard layering system. Um, the layering system that we have, that I've constructed on here, um, helps you guys to organize the components and things that you create on your file. Um, so up the top here is your layers bar. Um, so just throughout here, I've given you guys a, a breakdown of what the, um, the layers buttons uh, identify as. So you've got the first one, which is turning on your layers uh, panel. Uh, the second one is um, changing object layer. So if you've got a particular object and you want to move between layers, you can do that through that. Um, so that's one of the options. The other thing is actually using select the object and go through its property, which you can easily click through. Uh, set your current layer. Um, that is also down here if you need to. So you can click on that and change your layers. So at the moment, default is is ticked. So that means that's the current layer, and you can change that by clicking on the layers corresponding underneath. Um, the other way around is changing the, the layer to the current object that's selected. It's there to be used, uh, but I don't use it often. Uh, one layer on, one layer off. So these are just quick ways of switching all the layers on and off uh, <coughs> by just one single click. Um, so these are pretty much self-explaining uh, what they are. So within the layers, sometimes you may have uh, a set of layers of five. If you don't, that's fine. Uh, we can create new layers through here. Uh, by renaming, you can just double click and rename the layer. You can have also, of course, from the new layer, you have this thing here, which is creating sub layers. So you can have a main layer underneath. You have sub layers in the, uh, underneath that. Um, so if you look on your handout, you have a thing called 2D. That's your title for the main layer. And then you've got sub layer con lines, which is construction line. Outline, which is just outline of, of your objects. In lines, uh, uh, lines behind objects. Um, center lines are there to identify the center of circles and the center of arcs. Um, phantom lines are a line that are used to where would you guys use it? Um, maybe an exploded view for you guys where you pull all your parts um, on an object apart. And you want to show where, uh, for example, the stone aligns with the claw and the claw aligns with the, uh, the shank. Um, you can show that using a phantom line identifying where the center of those axes are. Um, title blocks are going to be the thing that is what we'll be working on later on which is on your page, your border, and also the little box in the bottom right corner with the text on there. Uh, and you have thing which is, uh, the next thing down is dim, as I mentioned. And then underneath that you have another main layer which is 3D, which is all your 3D objects. Um, so I tend to do, create things where um, under 3D, I have, for example, different objects, so it allows me to um, identify and also uh, isolate them if I need to, so stones or stones. Um, so for example, the image of the sample, you have one main stone, which is the, the one in the middle, but then you have a cluster of smaller ones on the outside. Um, you may want to put the smaller ones in one set of layer, instead of having multiple layers for each one of them. No, but we'll go through that as we as we create more three D objects. Um, DNP stands for do not print. Uh, there are certain things that you may want to notate for other designers on your file that you pass around. Uh, DNP would be something that you can write in. Uh, it may not show up on uh, when you're printing stuff. And uh, default layers is one of the standard things that software creates. Let's name that 2D.
and then layer two, three, four, and five, you can actually make them indent uh, by clicking and dragging them in underneath 2D. So just doing that again, if you guys missed it, um, by clicking and dragging layer two, we can drag them in. You can see how they indent, and there's a little negative symbol underneath, or on the left-hand side of 2D, that allows you to expand and contract those layers. So change those names of those layers, add new ones in if you need to. Um, and then we'll talk about the columns after that. your current then that's always going to be on. So if you want to turn it off you have to activate another layer then turn off that particular uh, visibility. Uh, the one after that is your padlocks in identifying locking a whole layer if you need to lock a layer. Uh, the one after that is your display color on screen. Um, so I've given you guys a set of colors in here. So for example 2D is going to be black you click on it, you have the colors in writing. So you can just click and press OK. Um, there are certain colors, for example, when you get to the printing colors later on. Uh, let me get to that after that. When it gets to that description. So materials, as we talked about before, you can uh, uh, assign a material to that uh, layer. Uh, majority of the time you'll be assigning materials to the 3D objects. Uh, line types. Um, we are going to, after this, um, straight after this, we're going to create two line types. One of them would be hidden and one would, one would be center. You can do that now. You can assign them and go click on the, the layer, for example, hidden line and change it to hidden and the center line to be center. Okay, the diamond shapes, the colors on them, they're your printed colors. Um, in your handout, you'll see that, for example, your hidden lines is gonna be 170, 170, 170. What that means is, under your RGB, so just type in 170. That's to represent the red, green, blue in that color channel. So you press OK after that. And then please change your print widths for these. Uh, the only ones you would need to do would be your, uh, your 2D uh, layer print widths because the 3D not, won't be printed, you, you don't really need to change them. And down at the bottom uh, in do not print, just make sure you scroll all the way down the bottom on your uh, selection and just go no print required. 